compound in leafy greens could slow growth of COVID and common cold virus, study finds. Another compound has been identified with the potential to fight COVID-19 and the common cold. But unlike some other compounds discovered before, this one comes from leafy greens like broccoli and other cruciferous plants. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and radishes are cruciferous plants that provide tons of nutrients, including beta-carotene and vitamin C and E. Recently, researchers at Johns Hopkins Children's Center found that a compound in cruciferous plants might work against COVID-19 and the common cold. Published in the journal Communications Biology, the team bumped into a compound called sulforaphane, typical in broccoli, cauliflower, and similar veggies. It is already known to feature cancer-fighting effects, yet unknown against respiratory viruses. During the study, researchers discovered in the lab that sulforaphane could also inhibit the replication of the COVID-19 virus and the coronavirus behind the common cold. But hold your horses and heed researchers' warning. The findings aren't proven yet in humans, so taking sulforaphane supplements to fight illnesses can be guaranteed. The effectiveness of sulforaphane against COVID-19 and the common cold must be proven in clinical trials first. Decades ago, Johns Hopkins scientists first identified sulforaphane as a chemopreventive compound. When the pandemic hit, researchers screened for multiple compounds with anti-coronavirus properties until they encountered sulforaphane. The compound only showed modest activity versus other microbial agents, but they decided to give it a try. Their experiments involved purified synthetic sulforaphane. One experiment first exposed cells to the compound for one to two hours. It was followed by infecting cells with SARS-CoV-2 and the common cold coronavirus, HCOV OC43. Then, they measured how effective it was in lowering the viral loads within cells. Analysis showed that even in low concentrations, sulforaphane could cut the replication of six SARS-CoV-2 strains and HCOV OC43 by 50%. Delta and Omicron variants were also affected by the compound. Next, they examined the combined effects of sulforaphane and remdesivir. The reduction in viral replication was also by 50%. Then. They adjusted the combination to inspire synergy and the reduction was 50% as well. Synergism in two interacting drugs means lowering the dose without compromising effectiveness. In pre-treated mice, 30 mg of sulforaphane per kilogram body weight yielded a 7.5% decrease in the loss of body weight, 17% decrease in viral loads in the lungs, and 9% decrease in viral loads in the upper respiratory tract. The degree of lung injury was cut by 29% in pre-treated mice, compared to untreated mice. The team plans to push for human studies to determine how effective it is in preventing or treating those infections. What do you think of the compound? Do you eat leafy green veggies? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.